Hi guys, it's been forever since I have done a DIY or sewing tutorial and I have a highly requested basic overgarment or modest dress tutorial for you guys today. If you have any questions about the fabric, measurements, or materials that I use for this video, make sure you click the link down below for the blog post with all of that information. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I have my fabric laid out here. It's folded over pretty much the same way you would get it on the bolts, and I'm just showing you guys how it's folded here. Along that fold is where I am going to actually cut the fabric in half. And you're going to end up with two pieces. One will be the back of the dress, and one will be the front. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take one of those pieces and fold that in half. Make sure it's lined up nice and neat. And then I'm going to measure the width of that fabric. And I'm using this measurement to mark on my fabric piece here, which is not to scale. It is a smaller piece, and I'm just showing you guys this for an example. And I do use freezer paper, but I'm taking that measurement, which for me was 14 inches, and I'm marking how wide my fabric is so I can make sure I don't make my pattern piece larger than my actual fabric. So I mark that out on both edges there and then I'm just going to draw a line going across as my guide. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a t-shirt that I like to fit on, something that's not too tight since we are making a overgarment and you want it to have a lot of room. If you're doing more of a t-shirt dress and you want it to be tighter and fitted, then you can definitely follow along the length of your t-shirt. So I just have this folded over like so and this is going to be the fold of your garment and how you will place your fabric. So I'm going to line the fold of my t-shirt up along the edge of my pattern paper or my freezer paper. And then I'm just going to trace around that, tracing around the neckline and the shoulder and the sleeves and the same on the bottom. Now, if you notice right here, I did extend it over a little bit so that it is, you know, a little more roomy and more modest since we're making an overgarment today. You can go ahead and remove that and I'm just tracing around that with a marker so you guys can better see what I'm doing. From there, I'm just going to extend a straight line, kind of like in an A, so it makes the A line going all the way down to the bottom of my garment, depending upon your desired length. Now right here, I would change one thing and do more of a curved mark. It just works out a little bit better and has a better fit to it, so it ends up looking like this. I didn't actually do that on the pattern, but I did sew it like that, so I wanted to show that to you guys. Next, I'm going to add a curve for the front of the neckline and you want to make sure that you make that wide enough so that your head will fit through since we're not adding a zipper, especially if you're using a non-stretch fabric. All right, so the next thing I'm doing is just marking my seam allowance. I like to do this with just some measuring tape and I just mark that going all the way around. And again, I'm just showing you guys the lines here traced out so you can see them a lot better, but I used 5 eighths of an inch and I'm just putting some dashes in there so you guys can see it clear. You want to go ahead and do this all the way around your pattern piece. And you want to make sure at the bottom you add at least about an inch for the seam allowance. And once you have all your dashes in, this is what it should look like. And my hand is covered in marker. <laughs> Next thing you need to do is just go ahead and cut your pattern piece out and you can stop here if you're not going to add sleeves. If you are going to add sleeves, then I just place the actual dress pattern piece on top of another piece of freezer paper. Have it lined up nice and neat. And you're going to extend the line all the way down, but the first thing I did was mark dashes where the seam allowance is on that pattern piece because I'm going to use that as my seam allowance for the sleeve. So once I have it nice and straight, I'm just extending a line all the way down to my desired length for my sleeve. So whatever length you want your sleeve to be, and then mark your measurement for your wrist. And to get your wrist measurement, you just want to take measuring tape and wrap that around your wrist. And then you're going to take that number, divide it by two, plus your seam allowance. All right, go ahead and tracing that out so you guys can see it better. I'm going to mark that off with the seam allowance that we already had there and then add my seam allowance at the bottom. And here's your sleeve pattern piece. Right here is going to be the fold. So that is how you would go ahead and place your pattern on your fabric and you can go ahead and cut it out. All right, guys, so once you've done that, you are all done. Here is your dress pattern piece. Here's where the fold is going to be. 
And again, this is the neckline. What I do is just cut it out and I have a little piece of tape there. So this will be the front, wide enough for your neck to fit through. And then you can just tape it back on for your back pattern piece. And here is your sleeve. And you can see if you line it up, it fits perfectly with your seam allowance there. So moving right on, we're going to go ahead and cut out the sleeve pieces. And the reason I did it this way is, you know, it's just a little bit easier. Sometimes it can be harder to actually do the sleeves. And sometimes you guys tell me that it's one of the most difficult things. So this way you don't have to worry about it. So I just laid my pattern down, traced around it with eyeliner. Don't judge me. It works perfectly. <laughs> and I cut the pattern piece out. I weighted it with just random things I have. So you don't actually have to have pattern weights. You can use whatever you have lying around. All right, so here's what it looks like once I've done that. I'm just going to unfold it so you guys can see how I had it lined up. And you can see once you open it up, that's what it should look like. Next, you can go ahead and move on to your actual dress pattern piece. So you guys can see mine is much longer. This is my actual pattern piece. And if you wanted to, you can see I was going to show you guys how to do it with an actual sleeve. But I decided just to make it easier. If you want to, you can check out my do-it-yourself high-low peplum top tutorial for that. But basically, just go ahead and trace around. And you can remove that piece for the front of your overgarment. And once you've cut out both pieces, this is what it should look like. You're going to sew down the tops, do the little side pieces, sew all the way down. And you want to make sure that your fabric is facing right sides when you do this. Right sides facing right sides. Take that to your sewing machine. Go ahead and sew it down and serge it off if you have a serger so it's nice and neat. Moving on to the sleeves, I'm just kind of showing you guys again what the sleeve looks like. For this part, you want to make sure that you have the wrong sides of your fabric facing up and then fold it over. If you're using a stretch fabric, you can definitely go ahead and use Wonder Tape here to kind of help you hold it in place. And then I flip it over and just press on the top of it to make sure it's nice and flat. And you're going to top stitch going across the top, which is basically just sewing on top of your fabric. Once you've done that, this is what it should look like. I'm just pressing that nice and flat again. Here's what it looks like on the other side. This would be the wrong side of the fabric. Then you want to fold it with right sides facing right sides. And you're going to sew right along that open seam. I've already sewn and serged it, so this is what it looks like on the wrong side. And when I flip that inside out, so you can see the right sides of the fabric, this is what it looks like. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and attach that to your dress piece. You guys can see the neckline here. I do have the overgarment folded with the wrong sides facing out, and the sleeve has the right sides facing out. So you just want to take the sleeve and tuck that into the overgarment, making sure you line everything up nice and neat. Once you have that lined up nice and neat and it should fit perfectly, you're going to go ahead and get your pins and pin all the way around and then take that to your sewing machine and then you're just going to sew all the way around. And you're almost done you guys, just a few more steps. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like here. I haven't serged it or cleaned it off yet, but I did go ahead and sew all the way around. When you reach in, you'll be able to pull out your sleeve. And this is what it'll look like on the inside. And this is what it looks like on the outside. And you can have a lot of fun with this, you guys, since it is two different pieces. You could do color blocking and use a couple of different colors, make the sleeves a different color, and then you can make the bottom of your overgarment a different color. I think that would be really cute. But you will end up with a seam right here on your sleeve. All right, you guys, the last couple of steps is you want to go ahead and hem your neckline by folding your fabric over all the way around. I've already surged mine off. Press it down, and you're going to top stitch around the top of your neckline. And do the exact same thing on the bottom. You want to fold your fabric over like so. You're going to go ahead and press it down. And then you just top stitch again, going all the way across the bottom. And that's it. You're done. Here is the finished garment, a super simple do-it-yourself overgarment or modest dress.
if you guys want to add the pockets like I did, I'm going to have a link for you at the end of this video and down in the info box if you want to add the inseam pockets like I did in this tutorial. But I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it and give the video a thumbs up. Feel free to share with anyone who you think might like this video. And definitely if you guys try it out, tag me on Instagram at Nadira037 or on my Facebook page at Nadira037. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was easy enough for you to follow along with. As always, remember, if I can do it, so can you. Until my next video, assalamu alaikum. Peace.